Welcome to MSS Great Channel. In this video, we are going to see how to create an event and add an attachment from an email using the Power Automate. Creating an event is easier with uh, Power Automate and attaching an attachment from the email to the newly created event is a bit tricky and I'm going to show you how to do that. Let's start with the Power Automate, new Power Automate with uh, email, new email as a trigger. So you can see here, uh, when a new email arrive, I'm going to read the attachment and create an event. Let's create an event when a new email arrive. You have create event, which is V4 from Outlook. And the calendar ID is the local calendar and the subject i'm going to map it to the email which i'm receiving so whatever the subject in the email it is going to be the subject for the calendar and with hyphen event start time i'm going to set uh, my own start, start time for now uh, so that uh, it is Let's say 2024 hyphen um, 09 and it is going to be 03 3rd September and the time is going to be around 4 p.m. maybe which is 16 00 00, 00. and the end time is going to be one hour meeting which is 17 and the time zone I'm setting it to Singapore for now plus 8 which is Singapore time zone okay and uh, you can also create an event with all different parameters specifying who is required optional attendees so all the details can be added in so require attendees I'll just put as my name, Santamil. Okay, so this is the required attendee, which is the local. That's it. So this is the event which is going to be created. Let me save this. And once the e event has been created, I want to get all the attachments from this email and copy it to the event. So for that, First, I'm going to add a condition which says the previous item which has attachments. Mm, I'm looking for has attachment. Yes, is equal to true. It is a Boolean value and if has attachment is equal to true then it would add it will come here so once you have the attachment what i'm going to do is that i'm going to compose and in this compose i'm going to get the attachment content so when an email arrive email arrive then i want to get the attachment content which is content type and the content okay so what happens is that when i suddenly select the email content then there is a for each being created automatically for attachments each attachment and it will get the single attachment content here why there is a compose method um, it's a bit tricky to get the content uh, attachment content so we have a compose method later i'll add formula here so now i'm going to add the attachment to add an attachment to the event there is no direct method and you cannot create event with attachment so to copy an attachment from the email to this newly created event you will have to use the graph api i have a separate video in my youtube channel where you can see how to use the graph api and what is a graph api uh, have a look at it and later uh, uh, you can use this on how to use it so basically i would send a http request and the graph api endpoint of the rest api which is going to be used here is the calendar event 
let me get the event get the endpoint here so the calendar endpoint is this one graph.microsoft.com and then the events i need to have the id here and for the id i need to add the attachments so this id should be dynamic let me try to get the id of the new event created create event should get me the id yes okay yeah so what i'm doing is that once the event is created here i'm getting the id of the event and there is a slash attachments this is going to be the post method because i'm going to add the attachment and we have to pass a json format in the body let me select the body and the body request we need to follow the json format so what is the json format you should send so there is a, uh, a good documentation from microsoft site learn.microsoft.com if you see here this is the calendar and the event so graph api how do you create an event all are documented here and i'm going to add the attachment so when you want to add an attachment it's clearly mentioned that you should pass this this is the endpoint and this is the format you need to pass okay i'm going to copy that and put it into my and here this is predefined so you will have to follow this do not change this and the attachment name we can get the attachment name from the email arrive so expand it and then you can get the attachments name and the content so this how it is slightly bit tricky the content you should not directly get from the email attachment it will not work because power automate tries to convert that into a unicode or something which is scramble scramble text so what i'm going to do is that i'm going to get the content from the previous compose method so get the output from the compose method not from the attachments it is very you have to follow this and also you need to specify the content type which is not in the example it is better to specify the content type always so content type okay and the content type you can get it from the attachment as well attachment name attachments content type yeah that's it so this is the uh, uh, this is very important you should use this this is the one which is going to be uh, attaching the content from the email to the event let me say this okay so this is very very important step which you, you should remember this compose method right now i have added the content by directly but once you do that the content will not be attaching it in a expected format so i am going to demonstrate what is the issue with this then later we going to see how to solve that issue okay so looks good when you get an email it is going to create a event and it is going to attach all the uh, attachments from the email so for the sample i am going to send an email okay okay so this is the sample email which i am going to send it to uh, from dot net to dot dev and with two attachments there is one pdf attachment and there is one ppt attachment so basically when an email is arrived it has to create a event with this name with the subject and these two attachments should go into that uh, Uh, newly created event let's send this email and wait for it to arrive so the email should arrive here this is the old one so hopefully i get a new email okay so the email has arrived and it has two attachments so now the power automate should trigger let me go back and see whether it is triggering the power automate okay 
So see here the Power Automate has triggered on the arrival of the email. Let me go to the Automate and then let's see. Okay, it has successfully completed. So meaning that it has created an event and all the attachment has been copied. Okay, all looks fine, good. So let's go back to the calendar. I should see an event on 3rd September, which is, okay. You see here, 4 p.m. to 5 p.m. That should be an event. So which has been here. This is the one which is, this is the email with an attachment and everything is good, hyphen the event, okay. And you can see here the attachments are also here, two attachments which are there. I try to open the attachment. Okay, you can see here something went wrong. It is wrong. So the attachment is not attached properly. But the name and all other details are correct, but it is not attached properly. And the bytes you can see here, it's kind of uh, dodgy. And this also, something is wrong. The PPT is gone as well as the PDF is not there. So why you are getting this error? Let's see in the, although the Power Automate is successful and you can see in the compass, uh, in the compose hub, uh, action, in the input and the output, all the content would be here. It takes a while to get the content. It doesn't come, okay? So see here, the attachment content is not properly, is not there, okay? and it is empty it is empty here you can see here it is completely empty so to get the attachment properly you will have to follow several other steps so the first step is to get the attachment so irrespective of binding the attachment to the compose method you should add one more method which is called get attachment. From V2, yeah. Get the attachment, the message ID. You should get the message ID of the previous email when a new email arrived and the message ID. This is the message ID and the attachment ID is the attachment ID. It's self-explanatory conversation and attachment ID. Okay, that's it. So this, this is the first action you should add because get attachment will properly get the attachment content. This is the first step. Second step, you need to modify this compose method to properly get the attachment. So what I'm doing is I'm going to add a formula. So you should formula, you should have a formula which says string string function and make it dynamic and get attachment content byte. So make sure you select the get attachment content byte, not the email content type. So make sure it's correct and add. Okay. So this is very important. You should use string method. Why? Because get attachment will get the attachment as a base uh, 64 format directly passing the base 64 content from get attachment to the event json will convert the base 64 into unicode we, we want to avoid that so for that we are explicitly converting the base 64 into a string so we are just informing into the power automate that treat it as a string okay so this should work and i'm saving it it is saved successfully so now what we can do is we can try to run it again. Let's go back. So this is the last run. And what I'm going to do is that I'm going to delete this already created event. And so that the new event is created and I'm going to resend the email again. One minute, let me clear it. I'm going to resend the email. This is the sample email which I created. So again, the same attachments. Subject is slightly different. I'm going to send. So once I receive, I should able to trigger. So there are no uh, event in the calendar. I removed it. So 
are easy okay i received the email attachments are there oh okay this is actually the same original email so this email has arrived so it has to create power automate let me check let's wait for the power automate to trigger it takes a while to trigger the power automate sometime it had started running now let's see whether it is successfully completing okay so your flow has successfully completed and let me go back to the calendar and we will move it to september see here the event has been created and those two are already there let me try opening it and it should open the pdf see here the pdf is comp opening properly and i can open the ppt as well you can see the ppt is opening and it is working as well as you can see here in the power automate creating an event and adding an attachment to the event is not a straightforward activity you need to add few more actions to do it especially you need to have a graph uh, api rest api to add the attachment and you need to convert the existing attachment into a string format so that it can attach properly also make sure that you have the get attachment to get the content or else the content will not be available to you so this is how you need to create a attachment for the event hope you enjoy the video thank you so much like and subscribe